How do I do this without it knowing where I live? <laughs> Should I just open a bunch of random fish stores in like a random town in like Pennsylvania or something? I'm noticing a problem and it's that all of the ones that it's showing, okay, fish store near, someone give me a town in a random, in a random state. Someone give me a town in a random state. Lebanon, PA, near Lebanon, PA. I just looked up fish store near Lebanon, PA, and that's what we're going with. I just thought that maybe they would have some funny reviews. This is a that fish place, that pet place. Biggest one I've ever been to. Very nice reviews. Merchandise is concerned. See, these are the bad. How do I get to the one star reviews? Can I not look specifically at the lower views? I want to see the one star. I want to see who hated this place and why did they hate it? While the store had tons of items for pets that would be hard to find somewhere else local, the customer service was terrible. The associate in the fish room obviously didn't want to be bothered because during the personal conversation she was having with a co-worker, she provided us with information that I later found out was 100% untrue. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was her um, not wanting to talk to you. I think that was you shouldn't trust the quote-unquote aquarium or fish experts at places. So glad that she was so concerned about the fish when nearly every tank had at least one dead fish in it. We walked out without making a purchase and an upset six-year-old and will never waste our time coming back. Do your own research. Hey, that's a good thing to learn. Honestly, this may have been the best fish store employee ever. <laughs> this may have been the best fish store employee ever because what happened was this person actually learned to do their own research on fish rather than just trusting what the random person in the store said. Okay, this one star review. I have been going here for 32 years and this past Friday night I was treated with very little respect. The fish room employees and the floor manager were ignorant, rude, and very disrespectful when I was trying to buy fish. To make a long story short, they didn't want to sell me more than three fish for my tank. I drove an hour for a fish, so I was taking more than three fish home. They pried into my fish keeping ability and said it was for educational purposes. I have been keeping fish longer than and they have been alive and they are trying to tell me how many I should put in my tanks. I thought they were in the business of selling fish. I can guarantee you they won't be selling me anything more anymore. They lost you a loyal customer of 32 years. Holy shit. Wait, so for 32 years this guy has drove an hour to go to this specific fish store in Lancaster, PA. And because, you know, you know what's really funny? I wish I had the context of this review because you want to know what it probably was the context. It was probably like, he was like, yeah, I got a 10 gallon. Can I get like 30 goldfish? And they were like, uh, I don't know. You know, I'm not the expert, but I don't know about that. Maybe you should have like less, maybe it's three. We'll say three goldfish. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what tank size and what he was trying to buy. Because my guess is, although the aquarium expert people aren't necessarily always the best, uh, they probably were trying to stop him from doing something really stupid. Okay, let's find a lower rated. Can I search sort by rating? Yeah, 2.0 and up. 4.1, 4.3. Oh, PetSmart Grooming has a 3.0 review. Oh my God, it's got a one one star and one five star review. Oh, someone said brilliant job and someone just gave them one star. Look in Orlando, Florida. Wait, you're actually a genius. If I want crazy reviews, I should go to like the worst <laughs> spot I can think of. Rating 2.0 and up Orlando, Florida. I wish I could search by low rating. <laughs> oh, a 3.9. That's impressive. That's the only one I've seen below a four. Wow, I would not recommend this company. Whoa, okay. Rush the install, sure. Found the business on the internet. Okay, these are the people. Tanks are gross, no fish, everything was disgusting. Will never return. Thank you, Harley Baby. Do not waste your time. There, there is no such business. They are. It's an industrial area. Okay. Oh, there. There's no such business there. Okay. Wow, that really confused me. Oh my god, a 3.7? Man, it's just one guy giving it a one star. 3.8? This is a deli. <laughs> this is not, this is a fish eating place. I'm gonna go to the ninth page. Okay. Wait, this is CVS. Why is this coming up under fish store? Excellent Seafood Orlando. Okay. Congratulations. That's not helpful. I guess I'll go back. Worst of all, the employees didn't know how to care for 
a tank that was full of seriously ill fish. They were all deformed and lethargic. Looked like some sort of severe bacterial infection. He said they looked fine. They will tell you they will sell you sick fish and not care when they die. Some of the worst customer service I have ever experienced. I genuinely do not understand how there are this many positive reviews of this place. I have never had a good experience in the store over the course of four years. How do you go to a place for four years and never have a good experience and keep coming back? That's the most impressive part. Four years of bad experiences and still coming back. I went in for aquatic plants and saw the betta shelf right by the door. The fish were in the worst condition I've ever seen at any pet store. Two dead bettas and another one looked close to it. Sad to see such animals in such bad condition, especially in a specialty store. Yeah, if you ever want to know if a store actually knows anything about fish, see if they take care, good care of their bettas. If they have bettas in like little containers on shelves and shit, you're probably looking at a really shitty store. SeaWorld Orlando? Sort by lowest. Oh my god, I can sort by lowest. So crowded, long lines. Okay, well what did you expect? It's fucking SeaWorld. Very expensive, not worth your money. This is just people who are mad that there were a lot of people there. Which shouldn't that be a point in their favor that like a lot of people want to go there? The dirty, it food is bad, rides are shut down early. <laughs> what does this image show? Okay. Cool penguin, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Don't go to SeaWorld. SeaWorld kind of sucks. Exotic aquariums in Miami. Oh, it only has one one-star review. Totally un- Oh, two. Dead after one hour of purchase. Is that a fucking elephant fish? Or a mor- mor- Mormorid? Morimid? Morimid die? Mor- Mormorid? The, the electrical pulse one, right? I talked to the owner and told her that I have four of these in my tank and it was my fault because the ammonia was high. After I test my water in three different places and also my house with the same equipment they have, they literally told me that I was doing it wrong. Don't let me start with customer service. The worst everything and everything is overpriced. Go to Neighborhood Fish. They got better price and selection for freshwater fish. Customer service is very bad. The store is quick to take your money. Oh my god, there's a lot of one-star reviews. How is this 4.6? Wait, they definitely bought some reviews. This company for sure bought some reviews, right? There's no way they should have a 4.6 with all of these one stars. Horrible experience. They have a great selection of fish. However, the customer service was bad. They were all talking and laughing in the back, avoiding us. Quality of help certainly has dropped a bit. Oh my God, there's so many. Horrible customer service, dead fishes and tanks. Who are they hiring for this customer service? The only cordial worker called Alfredo. I have not seen him. The others are simply rude. I spend hundreds of dollars and it seems that they do me a favor. I suppose they are family of the owners. I cannot get another explanation of that staff working. I'll have to look for other options. I do not do it anymore. Wow. If only Alfredo. <laughs> if only Alfredo was there to save the day. Natalia My Way B. Been coming to the store for 10 years, bro. I hate reviews that start with this. Every review starts with like, yeah, I've been coming here for years, but now I'm not going to because it makes you seem like a more important customer. If you're just like, yeah, I came here once and it sucked balls. The owner doesn't care as much. But if you're like, mm, yes, I was a long time customer. I've been coming to this stream for two years and it sucks balls. See, Pochi, that matters more to me. If you thought the stream sucked balls, that would suck. But if a random chatter came in for their first stream and they were like, this stream sucks, I'd be like, okay, well, don't stay. I've been going here forever. There's so many one-star reviews. Holy shit. The worst aquarium store ever. My husband, I went here with my husband, not even a hello. Do you need help? What are you looking for? Nothing. Really bad customer service. Bought Waters. a couple fish that were infected fish. with ick. No guarantee on fishes. Try to pretend they know what they talk about. Saying 10 1 to 2 inch cichlids is too much for a 55. PetSmart got you guys beat. Damn. Saying you're worse than PetSmart is impressive. Worst customer service ever. Bought fish and they had ick. Died within a week. <laughs> Damn. Las Vegas? Las Vegas would be- oh my god, 3.4? Is this the lowest rated fish store? Oh. Wait, no, this is a fish store. Holy shit, it looked like food for a second. Oh my god, they have 64 reviews and it's almost all one star. Only bought an ornament, came for fish, but there's no fish. False advertisement. No one answering the door. Place is gross, super dirty. The tanks haven't been cleaned a long time. They have a chicken, which is inside a dirty small cage. What? 
Why does this fish store have a chicken in a cage? Fish all died that I bought. Claudia was unintelligent. <laughs> Is Claudia the name of the fish? Did you name the fish Claudia? And then call it unintelligent? <laughs> Absolute nightmare. If you believe in animal rights, you will not shop here. They had two full-size roosters in a 20-gallon aquarium with a lid on it? What? They had roosters in a 20-gallon aquarium? This is insane. I wish I could give them negative five stores. None of the store pictures are accurate. The shop looks like a crack den. It isn't a pet shop, it just kept the old signs and sells a few bird things. 20 plus hamsters in one tank. No one was there. Drove from OC because this place appeared to be good for corals. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. That was probably a bad decision. You probably should have looked at the reviews. That's the lowest rated place I've seen. And that's with bought reviews, too. Underwater World? 3.2 stars in Los Angeles? Holy shit. Won't address my questions. Crooked company. Many cooked employees. I'm gonna assume that was meant to be crooked. UPS play, paid for two claims they will not refund my money. This company overcharged me and not refund my money they owe me. They act like they have no idea what's going on. Michael is a liar. Julie, also a liar. And Cynthia is a liar. Find somewhere else to buy your product. I am filing credit card fraud against them as we speak. <laughs> Thanks, Gerald Smith Bauer. <laughs> uh, this place is operated illegally. They sell to people without federal tax IDs who sell out of their houses. This shouldn't be illegal if they're charging wholesale prices without tax. What? <laughs> the last place had a fucking... had chickens in a 20 gallon and this place is operating illegally? Oh man, a coral store. 3.6. Sad, it used to be the best place. It used to be the best. Dying and overpriced. Wow. This is one of those where, like, a place takes over another place, but they, like, keep the name and everything, so they still have all the good reviews, but then they suck. 3.5 at Uncle Sam's Tropical Fish. Ordering fish from this company for a year now. Bro, everyone starts with it. This is a fake shop. Never transfer them money. Had an appointment with them at 1.30 on October 5th to see that it is a real fish. Nobody came. No one appeared for more than three hours. Never trust. And, oh my god, there's a reply. I love when the seller replies. First of all, you did not show up on your appointment the day before, and you expect us to be there anytime you want. I have deliveries, I can't be in two places. Second, you threatened me and my staff that you're going to call the police, so I decided to not let you in and waited for them. Nobody showed up. Lastly, you have not bought a single fish from us. We reserve the right to not provide service to anyone who's difficult and offensive towards staff. May God bless you with a lot of healing. You're projecting your pain towards other people and try to destroy their lives. I pray that you find peace, love, and respect. Holy shit. Scam, scam. Worst place to order fish. Been a month, still no fish. Ordered fish, nothing. Discus. Man, a lot of people bought discus. We'll run you around for a couple weeks and tell you they can't fulfill your order. Then they will try to charge you cancellation fee of 50%. It is a scam. I almost believe the owner though. It's definitely a scam because so many people have said it was a scam, but this person went so hard on the whole like God and religion thing that I kind of just thought they were being for real. Okay, this is the lowest reviewed one so far. 3.3. .3. Bought five koi here and they were sick. Started dying within days. Very poor maintenance. Fish pond was dirty with mold inside. Not helpful. Koi do not look good. Price is not bad, but the fish I bought died. Okay. Seems like every fish you get from here just dies. I mean, it might just be a real flake of an owner who can't organize anything. I guess. He just went so hard on that one response that I kind of wanted to be on his side. Absolutely disgusting. Tiny little cages, maybe one by two feet with five hamsters. There was a gecko in a wired bird cage with seed and pellets for food. There was a baby duck in a small travel-sized rodent cage with no water at all and wild bird seed. Jesus Christ. Why are there so many iguanas in a 20 gallon with no heat? Hamster bedding that's been there over a week. Birds crammed up into small cages and macaws pulling their feathers out. 
Macaws look very unhealthy. Damn. Okay, all of the reviews are about the fucking awesome or the awful way that they take care of the air animals. That's crazy. Why would you get into the pet business if you're gonna... This just doesn't make sense to me. What is the point in getting into the pet business? Why did th two people put okay and give it a one star? Translated by Google, I did not go pet supplies. I went to buy tree medicine and I really did not care because I went to another business. Sorry, cute afternoon. <laughs> He went to buy tree medicine? <laughs> the world's most mysterious me man. He said, have a cute afternoon. <laughs> I assume that's like a translation of like good afternoon or something or like good night. You know, I think I think we're good on this. I think I've seen enough shitty reviews for today. That wasn't the worst idea. There were some funny ones in there. It took me a while to get the hang of it and figure out how to find the good ones. Whoa.